Hello folks, welcome to episode 10 of Fracking Universe, season 2. Uh, right, so in this episode we're going to do a few different things, we're going to clean up a lot of things, we're going to sort out a few bee-related issues. Oh bloody hell, there's a lot of these pricks. Oh, okay, let's, um, let's get out of this hot encounter. And we're going to sort out a few of the bee issues, because we can breed a load more. Um, now I've found arid bees off camera. But we also- oh, hello. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 Gra proto, proto gravel is a prick. And what we're also going to do is a bit more farm automation, because now and we've got to the proto-planet level, where I'm at at the moment, now I can actually make a harvester beam gun, which I'm hoping, I've never tried that before, but I'm hoping it'll automate harvesting crops that don't grow on the um, hydroponics table. So I'll be able to get resin and that other thing, um, silk, I think, from those things that we're growing, and anything in the future that we grow as well. Oh, 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 I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm here because I want proto sight, because we haven't actually got that so far. Now we do need it if we're going to make a harvester beam gun. Oh god, this is... I really need to upgrade my matter manipulator. Also, I think there's um, a... Fracker Universe has its own matter manipulators and stuff like that, which um, I think someone mentioned in the comments that I should really get on. <laughs> but... Here we go, proto sight. Uh, rich in energy and capable of being hardened into an alloy. Blah, blah, blah. And I've also got some free lead, if I am... Um, if I actually make those into bars. So that'll be something to look forward to, won't it, kids? Ugh. Right, let me get some more, because I'm going to need quite a bit of this. I think for the um, the sake of my harvester beam gun, I only need three bars, so that'll be, what, six ores, I think? Um, but, as usual, I will try to get um, a big pile of it for future thrills. Oh, hello. Found some. Hello. It's another one of you. Remember you? Remember? I remember you from the crap episode one that we did. Uh, might want to get out of here. Oh, poop. <sighs> okay. Well, fine. Let's get on with the furnacing. Oh, I've got the hen. Hen. Right, and you should be able to make. There we go. Protosite. Forty-two. I'll make twenty-one. And I've got some extra bonus lead. whoop de shit And I've got myself the learnings to make myself wands and staffs and things like that. Ooh. Cool. So I've been looking into this wiring thing that I did. Um, the power doesn't seem to actually work. I'm not quite sure why. No matter what I do, everything, no matter which way I flip the switch, it goes to uh, these things up here. But, nah, whatever. Um, I'll carry on looking into that off camera. I've added a powder sifter, but... Again, I'm not even sure I've actually wired this up correctly. I don't seem to have much in the way of um, um, sands and things to test it out on, so... But that's not really for this episode anyway, so... Sod it. Right. That doesn't happen automatically, does it? Did I actually get everything? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> Brain fart. Right. So we've got that. Let's go and make the, um, the gun. Which, unfortunately, has to be made in this prick over here. Harvester beam gun. So I need titanium, gold, and copper wire. I don't have a station. This is actually a really bad place for this to be. I don't know why it's there. It needs to be with all the other stuff. Oh, there's no room anymore. Oh, let's put it down here for now. Because it's there's a there's a space here now. Which I... I mean, I moved the wiring station up there and uh, all sorts of stuff. So, let me just remind myself, what do we need? Uh -huh. no, that's, that's the bond on that one. Titanium bar, gold bar, and copper wire. Titanium. There better be some. Titanium bar. Copper bar. I think there's a, like, a way of doing this auto e even more automatically. Oh, copper wire, was it? Oh, it's gold bar. Oh, god damn it. I keep on doing that. Gold bar, I need. Gold bar 83, that's plenty. So, now we should be able to make ourselves a our thing. There we go. Oh, I could also make a second one. Dura steel, zerkesium, and molten core. No, I can't, because that's some zerkesium. I don't think I've found any, but I might be wrong. Molten core, don't know how to make that at the moment. That's some... Um, you have to go through a few more types of um, ore for that, which I don't think I've actually bothered with yet. So, now I can take that and party over at the power station. Uh, the most happening club of all. Now, which one is it? This always takes forever for me to remember what's going on. 
Here it is. The, I need a defense turret. Uh, turret for harvesting plants automatically. It doesn't actually pick up plants. Uh, which is why we'll need a grabber at some point. So, we need to go to the wiring station, get ourselves a defense turret, which requires this lot of crap. Including a proximity scanner, which is... Uh, yay, yay. Proximity scanner. There it is. That requires a load of stuff that we've got in here. So, uh, I'll, I'll do this off camera. And defense turret. Yes. Probably make a couple of these. For various larks. Now, hopefully. Harvester turret number one. Learn to craft harvester turret number two. Which requires a harvester beam gun number two. Which we cannot get. Because we're a bit pissed. Right, so now we have ourselves a harvester turret. Let's go and try it out. Oh, duh. Oh, chicken. Oh, hang on. Before we continue. Where is it? Got all these bloody bees all over the place. We, we'll get to the bees in a sec. Here we re relocator, which I can now. I've now been able to craft. Ha! You piss hen! Get out of my bloody crafting room! Sadly, I haven't destroyed them. They're actually inside the relocator gun. Hup. There's also a bonus hen. Where's it gone? Oh, I already relocated this one. Yes, is is there or she? Uh, I've also made this little sort of pen thing, a hen pen. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, there we go. Right, so my hens are busy doing that. I've got a bloody robo egg somewhere, which I've never. I, mean, I picked this up years ago in the in the in the video. There you go. We'll let them sort themselves out. I think that works. I think that's a thing. No, I don't want to harvest this yet. So I've never used a harvester beam gun before. It's... 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 Did I actually make this? Defense turret. Harvester, there it is. Right. If, it's, if it works anything like anything else... Huh. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't have much of a range. Hmm. Well, I could try and set this up a bit better. Maybe. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's... Oh, God, I've got a lot of old tut in here. Let's try and extend things. This will be a temporary arrangement. I'm not sure if you can put it on the underside of stuff. Give, 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 give. Ah, this is more like it. Range still ain't great, though. Hmm. So I'm guessing this can probably cover this. We'll, we'll need two. I think. Yeah, we'll need two. Let's just... Oh, dicks! <laughs> that was a bit not quite right. I'll put that back. I'll, come, I'll try to come up with some cleverer solution than this. In fact... Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit silly, but... It, it's, it's, it's okay, I think, because it's, um, yeah. It's okay. It's not bad. It's average at best. <laughs> it's a little on the poor side. It's terrible! Boo! <laughs> yeah. I'll put another one here at some point. I'll have to craft another one. Yeah. Whatever. Now, I've got to sort out the grabber, I guess. I want to see how that's... If that's going to be of any use. Or, indeed, ornament. Uh, right, so the grabber comes from over here. And we need a laser diode and tungsten. We've got loads of lasers from various electronic baddies, I think. And tungsten. Right. 
Oh, that's a... Grab her. Why am I in the ca... Oh, God damn it! All three? Hmm. All right, I'll go for a, a version three. Do you have a steel grabber with the greatest capacity? Grabs items from the world. Needs power? No, it doesn't need power. It's just um, it needs it outputs to the item network. I don't know how the old power thing works in the in Fracking Universe when it comes to um, just normal power switches. Because I mean that um, thing I made over on the left doesn't seem to work properly. Grabber. Now we haven't actually got any um, any way to um, test this yet. So let's well, we have, but. We can't. We can't actually do it on, as a live test. We'll have, to, we'll have to do this with something. Hmm. It went, and there it is. Let's see what range this has got then. No. Yes. <laughs> hmm. I think it tried to grab it, but couldn't quite make it. So, I reckon if we put in a little... Hang on, let's, um, let's do this. So, that's going to be the other turret. Like that. Oh, no, we need to do that. I really should use a better material, but sod it, what it is. Hmm. It's a little piss. Let's do that. I'll put a, I'll put a lid on it, even though it looks a bit. Hmm. The grabber can go there now. And with it, theoretically, where's it gone? What's the proximity? Where's it gone? Oh, so it, <laughs> I forgot to take it down. Grabber can go there. And hopefully, that should be able to. It really, it doesn't matter what I use. Let's use that. You should be able to grab anything. Oh, that might be just out of range. Hmm. Well, fine. <laughs> that solves that. Uh, okay, so we put a, I'll put a second defence thing there. And with any luck... Um, hang on. Yeah, when that harvests, that should grab it, and we should all be good. The, the one thing that we do need to do is bung this into a network... So that, I think, is our relay, that wire here, because that takes all this stuff out of that and puts it into the network. So we can reuse that. So that piece output over to here. Here. Get in! There we go. So in theory, that should work. It's just that nothing's actually grown at the moment, so we can't really test it out in action. Um, but I'm sure it works. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. Time for some hot B action. Uh, so this is a bit of a, a clearing up episode, gathering all stuff that we've done recently together into one. Oh, there's no bees around. Hardly oh, anyway. The Red Queen and an adaptive queen. Oh, actually, adaptive. Right. Okay. So there's, there's a few things I want to do with these. The mythical bees. And we were breeding them. I think it was in here. Ah, I've got some mythical drones. Good. We needed a mythical queen, so we need to... Well, they've all gone. There was loads of bees here earlier. Um, there's all... Yeah, there's our arid bees here. Um, so the arid bees, they're just found on desert planets. They were quite, they're actually theoretically quite easy to find. Um, best done off camera, frankly. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, we need to make minor bees. Which is um, that going to be that thing in there. Uh, minor bees, they're made actually with arid and adaptive. Uh, we've got, we should have got adaptives for days. Uh, but actually, do we need, did I actually pick up an adaptive queen just now? We did, that's very good because I can use an adaptive queen and an arid drone. Hang on. Yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah. Um, and then we can breed them into a minor bee. Now we. We, we're currently using this, are we? What, we're making flower... Oh, we... No, that's, this was... This was our... Um, mythical breeding thing? We probably don't need to worry about that. I'll, I'll take these out, actually, because the Volcanic Queen and Arctic Drone. 
need to be taken out. In fact, yeah, let's take all those. And um, we can put in our... Uh, what do we need? It's an adaptive queen and a minor drone. I've lost... I don't know which one I meant. Hang on. Arid and adaptive. Was that the one I wanted? Uh, adaptive... No, God damn it, no. Arid drone, that's the one. Getting really confused. There's so many types of bee. Ah, look, everything's going again. It's now morning. Right, so now we're going to be breeding minor bees here. To be honest, this is probably this is probably done. We don't need this anymore. The volcanic this is what's been bothering me the last episode. The volcanic one isn't actually doing out, out because we took the one volcanic thingy out to do to use for other purposes. Was that a volcanic queen or a, oh, it's the Arctic one I need to put in. No, it's not. It's, a, it's just a volcanic drone. How do I get a volcanic bloody? Hang on. Oh no, it's all good. I did actually have a volcanic queen. It was actually a volcanic queen I needed, not a volcanic drone. So, I've filled that up, and they're all... Oh god, my food system. So they're all, they're all going to be happy as Larry. Let's quickly just grab some food. I think these days I should be okay for food. Although I haven't really been concentrating on it that much. My, um, my exclusive diet of egg comes into play here. I've also got a, a lot of this stuff, which I'm, I've gathered in previous episodes and then just completely forgotten about. Uh, oh, by the way, I've increased capacity of the um, the stuff down here. Um, I think... Do we have... Am I even powering the sifter? Do I need to power the sifter? Um, I think I might need to... Ah, oh, who cares? <laughs> uh, that's not important right now. So, we do actually need to automate these at some point. I'm, I'm waiting for the um, adaptive bees to happen. Let's, um, let's be grabbing some of these bees. See if there's anything useful. Probably not. What I should really probably do is put all the bees that I've got in my inventory into the box. Ah, minor drone! Minor drone. Minor, minor, minor drone. So you're going to go... Oh, yep, you're going to go into here. I'm just a simple beekeeper now. Right, minor drone. What was the new one? Oh. There, that's more like it. So we just need it to spawn a minor queen. And we're good. Uh, we also need a mythical queen. I think we haven't actually made one yet. We're making lots of minor drones now. Okay, uh, minor bit of backtracking. I put the bees back in here that were making the uh, what was it? The mythical bees. And because we because we haven't actually got a queen yet, I can't actually fill up this. We put a mythical drone in there, but not a queen. Here. And well, they're making busy. Well, we're waiting for them to make a minor queen that we can put in there, and that'll be another stage and all that sort of stuff. I'll be looking into rad the radioactive branch of the bees, but that requires centered frames, which I think requires strange things like um, golden wood. So I'm not going to bother with that just yet, but that's something for the future. And we actually are doing quite well here, and we haven't actually got into the like the really important end game type bees, where you get godly bees and elder bees. Um, but you, you need a we need a few other bees and things that we, we, we haven't actually even found yet, like nocturnal bees, which I've been on the lookout for, but never really found. Uh, there's aggressive bees and stuff like that, which I think we might be able to... Mm, we might be able to make something along those lines. More The morbid branch of bees, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that just yet. I don't want to make this another bee episode, particularly, although we've already um, <laughs> uh, cracked that. So let's um, look at this honey extractor thing. Uh, this requires us to put in some glass bottles. Uh, which I've made a bunch of. Empty bottles. Uh, and in there we need to put in some basic honeycomb -y type stuff. Uh, arid I think it just requires a basic honeycomb, just like regular stuff here. Oh, we have even got some already. So let's just try it out. Never actually bothered with this before. You can automate all this. It's going to take a long time, though. Hmm. Delicious honey. And we have ourselves healing as a result of that. Nice bit of regen, I think. Is it? Well, I can't really tell because I'm, I'm kind of like not injured at the moment. Let's injure ourselves. Let's try and... There we go. Does that give us any healing whatsoever? Nah. Oh, it gives us the tiniest, tiniest amount. Bloody honey. Bloody honey. 
bollocks to it, frankly. <laughs> uh, you can also make a um, honey jarring machine using golden sand, which I don't think we've got any of. Uh, connected to the industrial centrifuge and add empty bottles. So we could actually automate stuff. We could actually... There's, I say we've been, been talking about automating honey production for a while. Um, but what would that... That would, in practice would mean setting up an item transfer network for every single... Well, we could probably just do one, uh, which will strip out everything from here and put it into... Um, probably do a separate box, like here or something. Actually, I think maybe try, try and do this on the fly. Um, this is... Probably should, should have put it up. Oh, look at all those boxes up there, which are put in for purely decoration. Let's just see if I can actually just fiddle around with this a little bit. Let's put in that there. So, in fact, let's bef oh God. before we do anything, let's set this to only go for the first three slots. Oh, no. <laughs> um, the reverse of that. So that'll ignore slots one to three of every single input. So it'll only take stuff from slots four to through to whatever the hell that is. Um, 19, I guess. So that'll take all the stuff and put it into the box um, once we've actually wired it up. Oh, we need an item bridge. I don't, think, I don't think I've got one of those currently in my inventory. Do, do, do. Nine item bridges, bloody hell. Was that the right thing? Yes, it was. I really, I missed having a door just there in that bloody room. Um, anyway, put that there. And so let's just connect it up to forest bees as an experiment. And there we go. We actually do have the correct things. We, ha we haven't stripped out the bees. I mean, you can do that to there, there, and there. With any luck, yep, it's gathered everything in. I'm not going to do any more just for now because this box is going to fill up. So the, in theory, what I'd do is then I could set up... I may as well, I'll do this as just like a um, demonstration rather than a finished thing. We can then set up a little network here, which will only take... Did I actually take any of the jars of honey? I think I did, didn't I? Yes, there we go. So, jar of basic honey. So I think if I do type, if I filter it so that it'll, it'll only, it'll only um, transfer through the network anything of type honey jar. So any kind of jar of honey, no matter what flavour it is. I think there are more than one flavours. If not, oops. Uh, and then I should just have to wire... Yeah, that's already wired up, so uh, then I have to connect up that to there. I keep on pressing escape, and I shouldn't. Oh, it's not actually... God damn it, it's actually the honeycomb, isn't it? My mistake. It's, it's not the jars of honey one, it's the honeycomb. So it should only ever take in honeycombs. At the moment, though, it's kind of... um. Well, it can't really do anything, because... Well, there's nowhere, nowhere for it to go, is there? So if we... Yeah, there we go, look. Nice little experiment here. So it's putting... It's going to, especially going to queue up everything. All the honeycombs. But let's just see what sort of honey comes out of here. Green honey. Ooh. Ah, I might as well put these back in here. All these different kinds of honeycomb. And that'll just over time produce this. Unfortunately now we actually need to make space from here. What's in here? This is... Ah, well, for now, again, we're going to have to set up yet another bloody item network thing. Now this is where we do that to there. We This is where we put the jar. Not in the other one. Again, type. And we need a storage bridge on the box. Oh, where are they? Where are this? Oh, the, God damn it! The the biggest thing in the damn box. Right. Um, that goes to there. And with any luck. Oh, flibge! 
Hang on. No, I fucked that up. <laughs> um, I forgot to filter it by slots. I only need slot number three for the for this. I think. Right. Take out all that. I can leave that in there, actually. Right. I've had just stripped out everything from here. Mm, not quite. Hang on. Put them all back in here. Oh, they've all gone! Oh, I'm still... Oh, still not working, this is it. Right, so it, it's supposed to be only taking honey jars. But for whatever reason... It's, it's supposed to be taking honey jars from slot number three. And for some reason it's taking... Hang on, forest honeycomb? That shouldn't be in there, should it? I think this needs to be a... Right, hang on. It needs to be an output into slot number one only. Right. That should make sure that only puts the honeycomb into slot number one, rather than try to put it into one, two, and three. And then from there it was taking and putting it into there. Right, let's see if this is now working. It's not taking anything. Hang on. It's going into there. Output slots number one. Well, it, should, it should actually be putting it into there, not putting it into there. Yeah, for some reason it's putting it into there. Okay, I fixed it. Um, believe it or not. Um, all those are slowly add adding up or taking down. It's going into here. There he goes, slowly ticking over, and putting the jar into here. I don't know why. That was very peculiar. Um, output slot number three. So that's taking and putting it into slot number three. For some reason, this counts as slot number three. This this is number one, and this is number two. So it's, it's basically arse, around, arse about tit. It's, it's, it's wrong. <laughs> uh, th thankfully, I've, I've found yeah, how, how to all sort it out. And this thing here... Yeah, this pulls it in from input slot number one, which is that one. Yeah, and puts it into here. So we now have an automated um, honey producing facility. Uh, I could make it a bit more complicated, but I think we're all growing old and dying at a very rapid rate at the moment. So let's move on. Okay, let's just quickly bung up a new turret. The grabber is working by the looks of it. Although, for some reason, it's only taking... Ah. Ah, hang on. Input slots four. It's only taking it from slot number four. Um, clearly, this is utter nonsense. <laughs> God damn it. So, we'll just have to wire it up to here instead. Um, this one will take it from absolutely anywhere. Hang on, let's go up it. Why don't I just bloody solve this? <laughs> oh, what keeps happening? God damn it. There we go. No, oh, that was probably not the right thing to click. Well, anyway, wait. let's bone that to there. And then that goes to here, and then it can join the network. Keep forgetting that there's some conditions on some of these things. And with any luck, it's now taken everything and bunged it back into storage. So that wasn't the best demonstration in the world, but tough tits. Oh look, the robo chickens have hatched! Oh, I've got little baby ch robo chickens! Hooray! Also, let's be harvesting these. There we go. Also, may as well get the hens while I'm at it. Yet another egg for the lads. <laughs> ah, right. Okay, so let's just very quickly, um, we'll, we'll basically stop here, but I just want to do a bit of planting, some final uh, tree. We, we didn't really do much in the way of saplings. Where are they? I think I'll just grow some. Because um, we've, been, we've been gathering quite a lot of these things. Yeah, let's um, just make it so I can see what's what. So we arrange everything. Now I'll grow a random selection of what we've got. Probably not the crystal ones, because balls to them. Uh, and then in the future, we'll be able to jiggle about. We still haven't got any bloody 
we haven't still haven't got the bees that we need, have we? I'm, I'm going to plant all these um, saplings just to see what the hell we've got, and then we can maybe the best ones we can then try again with the whole crossbreeding thing. Could really do with evening out this land, couldn't I? There, that'll keep us going in future. Now I just need to f get these final bees, really, and we're done. Oh, alright. Um, that was very quick. They've already grown, including that really terrible... Oh, bloody hell, that's, um, that's our crossbreed. Our terrible crystal tree crossbreed that didn't work. But we do actually have apple trees. I'm guessing. Hang on, that was number five. So, was that this? This was it. This was it. This was, um... This is an ap apple tree. Oh, good. Right, good, 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 good. Right, I need to put in a new crate. That's going to be our apple, well, that, our tree crate. So that's that's an important one. That's going to be... We're going to crossbreed an apple tree with something else at some point, I think. This is a, that's a butter bee. I'm not even going to pretend that exists. Cool, that's, a, that's good. I'm, I've been waiting to get a, a fruit tree because that'll be good for our farm. Uh, farming activities. Doesn't seem to be any bees at the moment. They all seem to have buggered off. Actually, good news. Um, I've just re um, just had a quick look at the notes and I've discovered that we can actually make we can actually make a start on the morbid branch of bees, uh, which we can do just here. Uh, we need uh, jungle and adaptive for this. So let's take an adaptive drone, and we need a jungle queen maybe, got forest queen. And I think I have to go to. A special box. Uh, so we need a jungle queen. It's probably a good... There we go. There's a green one. Jungle queen adaptive drone. I'm still busy waiting for these buggers. I'll have to reuse this. Sorry, minor drone. We haven't got a minor queen just yet. So jungle queen and adaptive drone. In fact... There. <laughs> That's These continue to be our breeding ones. Uh, so, yeah, we should actually get a hunter bee out of that. So we will need a new sign. Uh, now it's night time. There's no point in sticking around here. Mythical Queen! Mythical Queen! Mythical Queen! Right. Mythical Drone. Mythical Queen does not have a frame. Right, so the mythical one finally sorting itself out. Uh, which one was that? This one can sod off now. We do not need that anymore. There's a hunter drone. This can be, this will end up being the minor one, I guess, if we ever get that. Let's put in the minor B. Minor drone. Still waiting for the minor queen. And we can make a start on the hunt. I've made the, I made the sign of the outpost just now. And we can make a... Don't worry, it? There it is. There. So, just waiting for all that to sort itself out. And two more queens, and we're done. Just whilst we're waiting. Come over here to get some seeds. And because we do need to plant up a few more in our B-arium. <laughs> B-arium. B-arium. Whatever. Let's get some of each. And these are, thankfully, these are dead easy to actually source in the real world. So, using them up isn't too much of a thing. I was trying to keep one of each at least, but sod it. There's our power situation. 27. I'm hardly using any power. Come on, bees. Get your bloody act together. So let's see if I've still got a bloody hoe in my inventory. Oh, there is actually number. Yep, I've already got it in my toolbar. We'll need to water it. There's no water around here these days. They don't seem to matter for those things down there. They always seem, they seem to be fully watered already. Can I plant these yet? Yeah, I can. Do do. Nice little selection box. This should help the bees speed things up, probably. <laughs> I could do with watering them, I guess. 
I think. Where's water these days? I haven't actually got a water drink. Look at all this. <laughs> I could have taken it from the wells, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure it is. So I'm going to do this the rough and ready, easy way. There we go. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh, that might be a new one. It's escaped. I've left the door open. Come back! Hunter Queen! Yes! Right, put that in. And when, the, when it gets light again, they'll start breeding new hunters. Which is very nice. Uh, the only thing we are waiting for is minor bees, but since it's night time now, we'll come to a stop and assume that's going to happen at some point anyway. Uh, cool, okay, so um, do subscribe to be notified when new episodes go live. Uh, look out for the post shows that go along with some of these that you can go and watch if you support me on Patreon. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.